Hello, my name is Valerie. I'm a speech therapist as well as the program leader for the Bachelor of Science Speech and Language Therapy program at SIT. In this session, I'll be sharing with you a little bit more information about the profession, about the program at SIT, in the hope that it will inspire you to be choosing speech therapy as your career choice. I've titled my talk, Peas, Bees, Swallow, Please. Now you might find that this is a really odd title for a talk, but I wonder if you can actually think about how this title relates to speech therapy and what we do. If you're thinking that there are words in this title that rhyme, then you are absolutely right. If you were to transcribe the words phonetically, you will see that there are different sounds or different initial sounds, but the same endings. And that's why the words rhyme. So why is rhyming important to speech and language therapy? Well, rhyming is important for the development of early language and literacy in children. Speech therapists need to know about linguistics, phonetics, language development. This is to help individuals with speech and language disorders. Speech therapists work with a range of disorders across the lifespan, from neonates right up to the older person. The main part of our work involves communication. For example, speech, how we produce what we want to say, language, how we understand, process and express ourselves in the oral as well as written form, voice, how we sound when we speak, and fluency, how smoothly we are able to relay our message. Now let's go back to the title again. There is one more word here that will give you a hint as to what speech therapists do. And you're absolutely right, it is the word swallow. Not many people know that speech and language therapists work with disorders of feeding and swallowing. We help infants who have difficulty sucking and swallowing in the early phase of their life. We also help individuals to eat and drink more safely. Speech therapists use different diagnostic equipment to assess swallowing. For example, we use a videophoroscopy or a moving x-ray. In this video, you can actually see an infant sucking milk from a teat, and we're able to see where the milk goes, to see whether they are able to swallow safely. In the second video, it is about an adult who is swallowing liquids, and from the video, we are also able to assess whether the liquid is actually going down the right way into the esophagus, or the wrong way into the airway, which is what we want to prevent. Speech therapists also work with endoscopy. This is where speech therapists pass a scope into the nose, right to the level of the throat, so that we can actually view the internal structures, as well as have a 3D view as to how the swallow actually occurs. Now knowing what speech therapists do, Let's take a look at how speech therapists can impact lives. I want you to imagine for a moment that you are unable to eat or drink or enjoy the food that you so love. Imagine if you are not able to say your name or order food, ask a question or give your opinion. Just imagine what it would be like if you are not able to learn and remember new things. Just imagine what it would be like living with lost words. Communication and swallowing are things that we so easily take for granted. Now, as a speech therapist, I want you to now imagine how you can turn lost words into hopes and dreams. Speech therapists can impact lives. We can help a child learn and communicate clearly and fluently so that they can develop to their best potential. Speech therapists can help individuals to restore communication in swallowing. We can help make a difference to the quality of life by helping them to regain the ability to participate in their daily activities, such as sitting in the hawker centre, eating the food that they love, talking to their friends, communicating with grandchildren and their loved ones. This is so that we can help them to achieve a healthier psychosocial well-being. Speech therapists can make a difference to individuals with a variety of disorders. For example, acquired disorders such as stroke, traumatic brain injury, head and neck cancer, developmental disorders such as speech delays, global developmental delays, 
autism spectrum disorders and stuttering, and congenital disorders such as tearing impairment, cleft and lip palate, cerebral palsy, and Down syndrome. You can impact lives in a variety of workplace settings, for example, acute as well as community hospitals, community care centres such as senior daycare centres, nursing homes, early intervention centres, special schools as well as mainstream preschools. You can also work in a private clinic and perhaps when you have gathered enough experience in your um, working career, you can then join an academic institution such as SIT where you can teach and do research and contribute back to the development of our future profession. You might be wondering why you should choose the SLT program at SIT. Well, there will be several reasons that you might want to do so. First, you might be looking for a first degree after completing your A-levels or IB qualifications or equivalent, or if you have a polytechnic diploma. If you're looking for an undergraduate degree, then this is the course for you. You will graduate with a Bachelor of Science in Speech and Language Therapy. It is a four-year course. Graduates will be allowed to apply for the professional registration as well as practicing certificates with the Allied Health Professional Council in Singapore. Two, we have an interprofessional curriculum. Cited within the Health and Social Science cluster in SIT, from day one, speech and language therapy students will learn alongside students from other allied health programs, for example, dietetics and nutrition, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, etc. You will learn about the different allied health professionals. You will cultivate multidisciplinary teamwork and care, and you will build friendships and bonds that will last you a lifetime into your career. Three, we train you to be industry ready. The curriculum was actually developed and designed by senior clinicians from various workplace settings in Singapore. As students, you will learn about the ethical, cultural, professional issues in speech therapy practice in Singapore. You will learn about local languages, about our local developmental norms. You will learn how to interpret assessment data and therapy outcomes in the context of our multicultural, multilingual society. These aspects are actually unique to the local program and are not covered in overseas SLT programs. You will also gain first-hand clinical experience when you go on placement with Singaporean children and adults at the various workplace settings in Singapore. Four, we have a very experienced teaching faculty, both speech therapists as well as linguists from the Centre of Communication Skills. Our speech therapists are practicing clinicians. That means they have many years of experience working with clients and they will be able to share their experiences with you. They will help you to translate theory to practice. They will be able to help you learn all the things that you need to know in order to be ready for clinical practice. As a student, you will participate in lectures and tutorials, team-based learning, problem-based learning, as well as participate in practical classes, such as those that we conduct in our simulation wards. You will be able to practice your clinical skills with simulated patients in a very safe environment so that you can make mistakes and learn and hone your clinical skills for when you go on placement. You will also undergo five blocks of clinical placement education, or CPE for short. You will work with, as well as practice your skills, with paediatric as well as adult placements, real patients in different workplace settings across Singapore. This will constitute about 1,000 to 1,200 hours of work so that you are able to practice what you need to practice in order to be ready for work in the future. At this point in time, you might be asking, am I eligible to apply for the course? Well, you will need to meet certain admission requirements. You will need to meet the requirements academically in terms of your results. You will also need to meet the requirements for our English proficiency as well as our second language proficiency. 
If you are shortlisted for the course, you will then be asked to attend the multiple mini interviews or MMIs, following which you will then undergo a medical examination where you will be screened and immunized for the conditions that you see in the box on the right hand side of the screen. If you want to get more information about our admission criteria and the requirements for the course, please scan the QR codes. The admission requirements for our course is located in our SIT SLT website and you can scan that QR code on the left. For Polytechnic Diploma holders, you might want to scan the QR code in the middle for a list of relevant diplomas. And if you are really interested to know about the modules that we teach, then please scan the QR code on the right. Now we all know that to be a good speech and language therapist and allied health professional, academic grades are not the only thing. To be a good speech therapist, you will also need to have good personal traits and aptitudes. We are looking for candidates with a good ability and interest in language, both in the oral as well as the written form. We are looking for people who have an aptitude for both the humanities as well as ability in the sciences. We are looking for candidates with critical thinking, problem solving and reasoning skills. And most importantly, we are looking for SLTs with good values, what we call our SLT values, social competency, compassion, as well as integrity. I hope that this information session has given you more information about the course, about the profession, so that it inspires you to choose speech therapy as your career choice. We hope to see you soon in our program. Thank you.